What kind of silly request is this? Dad, 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 dad. Today's video is going to be about suggestions to the game. I love this game. I'm not whining about these things. I'm just saying there could be some things to change to improve the game just a little bit. If you agree or disagree with any of these things, make sure to comment down below in this video while it's going on. Maybe you have a lot of different comments you want to talk about. Maybe you have things that you might want change too. Just watch the whole video. If you do end up liking this video, make sure to hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. If my dog's gonna be crazy this whole time, I'm gonna be pissed. Let's go, baby. All right, let's get right down to business. Number one, merge the servers. I don't know if this is a plan, maybe for like global launch or something like that. Some of this wharf thrives off of community. If not server merge, then let us be able to cross play with other servers because I already know cross play is in the game with randoms. When you enter a dungeon, you can get teamed up with someone on a different server, but people want to play with the friends. And if they didn't coordinate what server to go to in the beginning, well, they're SOL. Number two, UI customization. This is an MMO. Yeah, it's a mobile MMO, but you can get it on Steam. It's got its own client. I really think that we should be able to like adjust where things are on our screen. There's a lot of stuff going on in certain fights. Like maybe I want to move all my monsters over to the bottom left. Maybe I want to make the buttons smaller. I just want more customization on this UI. At least a scale to like scale down so that everything is not so big. Number three, stop giving out toys. Everyone's under the impression that we have maxed out Desert Queens and maxed out Ifrits because they're trying to get us caught up to the Korean server. Will we ever play against the Korean server? Maybe? Who knows? But trust me, I don't mind that I have a maxed out Ifrit and a maxed out Desert Queen. Thank you. But in my opinion, maybe my opinion alone, the progression towards mid game and end game, when you keep giving out these toys and free Nat 5s, people are going to get there quick and people might get bored of the game. I hope that doesn't happen. And the amount of updates that we're getting are at a very fast pace, which is awesome. I just hope it slows down a little bit. Number four, skill prioritization. I wouldn't mind having a bar where like it could just be for the start of a match that I can slide to whatever skill I want the monster to use first. After that, it can be AI randomized. I don't care. But like arena, for example, since we can't control anything, at least give us one more thing that we can maybe prioritize because the AI is dumb. Number five, ultimate use on auto. I think they don't let us use the ultimate on auto because that kind of makes you want to be like at the screen playing being able to be ready to press that ultimate button but come on half the time we're auto farming right let us be able to use the ultimate on auto number six a standstill option say your creature book farming there's certain instances where some monsters are in a really weird place. And in order to farm that monster for your creature book, you really need to stay in the same spot. Because on auto, once you kill that monster, it'll go off in the distance, kill some more mobs, and sometimes never comes back to where you were. There's certain ways to get around this. So when you're on auto, I just want like a, a button so I can just like stand still, but be aggressive whenever I see a monster. Number seven, farming. AFK farming in the field. I feel like every single monster should drop something. Sometimes they drop a little bit of gold. Sometimes they drop a little bit of other things too. Josie, get down. What are you doing? I honestly feel like every single monster should drop something, whether that's like three gold or three sky stones. The reason I say that is because sky stones and gold specifically are very rare materials. Battlefield might help with sky stones, but because how the game works and everything costs sky stones to increase gear, weapon repair, runes, even though it shouldn't be on runes. Like, honestly, I'd be okay with the sky stone situation if sky stones weren't needed for runes. Why is it needed for runes? 
We have to level up a rune just to see if we get good substats. We need sky stones. Like, what is this nonsense? Gold's a whole different situation, but at least limit the issue with having these monsters drop gold or sky stones every single time, or just take sky stones off of runes. Please, just a suggestion. Number nine, a better way to change your summoner's element. Now, a lot of you didn't know this, and I talked about this before in a past video, but you don't have to exit out of the dungeon to change your elements. You can click on your portrait and you left click whatever element you want to change to and bam, it changes. However, it's pretty stupid. There should be just a little like a drop down right here where I'm clicking just to be able to change the element. Very simple. Number 10, make dodge instant. If you're using a skill and the enemy puts down a giant big red circle of destruction, you cannot move and you cannot dodge out of it. If you're manually playing the game, this can definitely kill you. I can see if you're using a skill and you're out of dodges, then yeah, maybe you can't move. But we have a talent that you can actually increase the amount of dodges you do. So I feel like dodges only should be able to move you out of using a skill. It's like a skill cancel. I'd be okay if even the cooldown stayed down. Just let me dodge out of using a skill. I'd rather survive than die. Number 11, Summoner AI Dodging. I mean, come on, look at that. Now I talk about dodging and putting skills into dodge. It's gonna be great for real-time arena. However, if you have a dodge up and there's a big red circle underneath you, I feel like the game should be programmed for your summoner to use a dodge. This dog and chewing her bones piss me off. I think that would extremely help with a lot of different things. I get it though. If they don't change it, I totally understand. I mean, it's an MMO. We're, we're meant to play the game, right? But like I said before, the majority of this game is AFK Auto. Number 12, increasing nodes for events. Mining and harvesting events. There is not enough mining nodes. There's not enough harvest nodes. You can improve your skill with like legendary pickaxe and gloves, don't get me wrong, but there is just not enough nodes. I think the majority can agree. Number 13, rune equipping and management. I mean, using the filter is not too bad, but come on comp to us. You have a really good system in Skyrim. I mean, really good. I mean, uh, it's definitely better than this. Implement some of that quality of life feature. Also, our bag space with runes, if it's equipped on a monster, I don't feel like it should be in our bag. It should be on the monster. Say you have 21 monsters ruined up. Now I say 21 because three for each element spire, that's 15, three for PVP, and three for raids. Obviously some monsters are gonna be used in those same spots, right? I get it. That's 126 runes in our bag space. They definitely shouldn't count towards our inventory. Now last but not least, this is gonna be the most debatable and probably argued with me. I could take the punches, that's fine. Power level capping. Power level capping is the penalty or bonus that you can get. You have to have a certain combat power of your summoner and all three monsters to either get rid of the penalty or to get a bonus. In my opinion, I think it's stupid. I understand what they're trying to do, but the thing is, we already have a time limit in dungeons. So you can't take like a super duper sustained team with low combat power and go in and just tank it super slow and just kill everything with like burns or whatever because of that time limit but not only do you have to beat it in the time limit you need to be over a certain combat power this eliminates players taking whatever they want into dungeons until they increase that combat power of that monster maybe they're just gating it so that everything is not beat so early but i think either a you get rid of the power level capping or you get rid of the time limit in the dungeons Take Sky Arena, for example. You can beat a high level dungeon with a very safe team. I remember doing the highest level Giants dungeon with the awesome free to play team. It was like the most common. It had like Bernard, Shannon, Darian, Belladion, and the fifth, I just can't remember. But those dungeon runs would last like six, seven, eight minutes, but you could do it. It's just very time consuming until you finally start getting those runes and then you're speed clearing it with like four damage dealers and a support. It was a grind. I mean, yeah, that's my free to play issue, right? But like I said, I'd be okay with power level capping and I 
take the penalty if there was no time limit. But in my opinion, just a suggestion, get rid of one of the two. That's it for today's video. Comment down below if you agree, disagree. If you have your own suggestions, let's push this video to come to us. Let's just see what happens, right? These types of videos always get so much debate and criticism. They're almost as bad as tier lists. But again, if you like the video and like all my content, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.